fifth grade into math lesson 18.2, self customary and measure uh, conversion problem. I can solve problems involving conversions within the theme system of measurement. Step it out. Number one, if I can serve the measure of the distance, it can be jumped in a straight line. If the fleet jumps that same distance eight consecutive times, how many centimeters does the fleet jump? Find the total distance the fleet jumps. Write an expression to find the total number of millimeters the fleet jumps. So, what's the PR equation? So we have the 8 and we have the 150, right? And then they want to know how many centimeters it jumps. So 150 times 8. Find the number of millimeters. So uh, 50, 150 times 8, 0, carry the 4. What's that? 44? Carry the 4. 12. So 1,240 what? Millimeters. Okay. Can we draw our box real quick? And we break it into seven sections. Okay. And then what's our thing? No. Hector. So King Hector drank. We have Jack up. So many, so M L G. So meters. Um so Jesse. And Mila. So, King Hector drank many large glasses of dark chocolate milk. Remember, you have to add in the of uh, just to make it sound better. But you add it in after the G, right? Okay. All right. So, convert the number of millimeters <laughs> to the number of centimeters, right? An equation that relates to millimeters. So, how many? So, um, one centimeter equals how many millimeters? How far apart are those? Just one box, right? So 10 um, millimeters. So are you converting from a larger unit or to a smaller or from a smaller to a larger? Larger. We're going smaller to larger, so we're going to divide. Because our number needs to get smaller, right? Okay. Write an expression to convert the number of millimeters the fleet jumps to an equivalent number of centimeters. So we're going to take 1,240 divided by 10, right? My decimal would be right here. Do I loop one place to the left or one place to the right? Left because I'm dividing, right? So I have one or 124 centimeters. Yeah. Okay, so we did a little bit of multiplication wrong. Clear back up here. So basically we shouldn't have regrouped because eight times zero is zero and then this would make this a zero. So we just need to go back and change these to zeros. Easy fix, right? Yeah. So, just need to change those. Okay, so the problem we just did was a metric problem. Now we're going to do a customary one. Okay, so customary is what the U.S. uses um, to measure things. Step it out. Mike fills the aquarium using a one-pint bottle. How many times will he need to fill the bottle in order to completely fill the aquarium? So, we have 15 gallons. They want to know how many one-pint bottles it will take. So how many times will he need to completely fill it? Describe how to find the number of pints the aquarium holds. So what do we know how to draw to help us with this? The gallon, the gallon G. So we're going to draw the big gallon G. You guys are going to draw it here a bit so that I can write all the stuff in it. I'm going to write it over here. What first goes in the gallon G? Four. So 
oh, our four cues, right? Or four core. Okay, what goes inside each cue? Two pints. So two capital letter P's. What goes inside each letter P? Two C's, because there's two cups in a pint, right? And then one cup equals how many ounces? Eight ounces, because sometimes we need to know that, right? Okay, so basically what we're going to do is one gallon equals how many pints? Oh, wait, let's go this way. So we're going to say that our gallon G goes with that letter A, right? Okay, so how many quarts are in a gallon? Four, right? Okay, how many pints are in a gallon? Eight. Eight. And how many cups are in a gallon? Sixteen. Okay, so how do you convert a number of gallons to a number of pints? So basically, we know that there's four quarts in a gallon, and then there's two pints in a quart. So that gives us how many pints in a gallon? Eight, right? Okay. So write an equation to show how many pints there are in 15 gallons. So we're going to have to take what? 8 times 15. 8 times 15 or 15 times 8. Okay. So how many times will Mike need to fill the bottle in order to complete it? So... This kind of goes back to our problem like we had on the other side, right? Except for it's not, oh my goodness. It's definitely a Monday, isn't it? Okay. No, eight times five is 40. Put the zero, carry the four, and 12, right? So 120 height. So I'm going to see number one. Another animal fact Mike learns is that African bush elephants eat 230 kilograms of grass and leaves each day. How many grams of grass and leaves do African bush elephants eat daily? Okay, so it looks like we have, um, just looking or skimming over the page, it looks like we have uh, metric units and we also have customary units. Okay, so let's go ahead and draw our box at the top. How many sections? Seven. So, okay. And then what goes first? Kilo. Kilo. So, Saka. And then. So, and then we draw our chocolate. Milk. Right? So, King Hunter drank many large glasses of dark chocolate milk, right? Okay. And then also, we can put what else? Well, we can do our gallon G because number seven has that. Now, we have number two that wants us from pounds to ounces. That isn't in our gallon G, right? So, we will just need to know how much that actually equals, right? Okay, but I can go ahead and draw my gallon G, right? And put my Q's in it. Put my P's in each one. And then my little C's in each one. Okay, and with me trying to do that with my finger, it's kind of hard. Okay, but you guys can put that in there, right? Okay, and then one cup equals 16 ounces. Okay, another, um, so basically we have 230 kilograms. They want to know how many grams does it um, eat. So, one kilogram, first of all, they want to go from kilograms to grams. So, are we going smaller to larger or larger to smaller? Larger to smaller, so we are going to multiply. Okay, one kilogram because that's my bigger unit equals how many grams? How many boxes are the the weight from each other? Three. So that would be what? Three. Oh, five. It would be a one with three zeros, right? Which equals 
1,000 grams, okay? So I have 230, and we said we were going to what? Multiply, so I'm going to lose three places to the what? Right. And I don't have anything there, so I'm going to put zeros in to hold my spot. So now I have two, three, zero, one, two, three zeros. I'm going to come back in and add my comma. What's my label? Grams. Okay. Next one, I have to convert. I'm going to go from pounds to ounces. So am I multiplying or dividing? Or I mean, am I going smaller to larger or larger to smaller? I'm going larger to smaller. So I'm going to what? Multiply one pound, because that's my larger unit, equals how many ounces? 16 ounces. And then... What can I convert two and a half to to make this easier? 2.5. So I'm going to take 16 times 2.5. And then I just pretend like there's not a decimal there yet, right? Okay. So 5 times 6 is 30. Carry the 3. 5 times 1 is plus 3 is mark off the 3, mark off the 5, put a 0 so we can move to our 10th spot. 2 times 6 is, carry the 1, 2 times 1 is, plus 1 is, and then I'm going to add, so 0, 10, carry the 1, 4, how many decimal places? So my answer is 40 ounces. Okay, next one, they want to go from milliliters to liters. Smaller to larger or larger to smaller? Smaller to larger. So smaller to larger means I'm going to divide. Okay? So my larger unit is the liter. So one liter equals how many milliliters? How far apart are those? How many boxes apart? Three. Three. So it would be a thousand, right? Equal one thousand milliliters. And then I have the 272, and my decimal would be right here, right? Okay, so, so we're dividing, so am I moving to the left three times or to the right three times? So, one, two, three. So my answer is 0 0.272 liters. Okay, grand to milligrams. So am I going smaller to larger or larger to smaller? Larger to smaller. So I'm going to multiply, right? Okay, all right. So my bigger unit is the grams, right? So one gram equals how many milligrams? How far apart are those? Three, right? So equals 1,000 milligrams. So if I'm multiplying, am I leaping to the left or to the right? To the right. So how many places? Three. So one, two, three. So my new answer is three, eight, six, two, eight. Go back in and out. Of oh yeah, I wrote five, but I said eight. Okay, so go back in and out my comma, and then what is my label? Okay, on your own, number five, a large bowl has a liquid volume of three and a half quarts. Javier fills the bowl using a two cup bottle. How many times will he need to fill the bottle in order to completely fill the bowl? Okay, so three and a half quarts. He has a two cup bottle. How many times will he have to fill the bottle? Okay, so this we can actually use our down G, right? Okay. So, basically, we need to go from quart, um, or well, we need to know how many of the cups it's going to take to fill the quart, right? Okay, so what am I going to do? Am I going smaller, larger, larger, or smaller? Larger to smaller, because first 